Well, look at a camera and directly tell Zelensky, you better leave your hands off of our sons and daughters because they're not dying over there. Georgia's Marjorie Taylor Greene is the latest conservative to criticize Ukraine's president over a misleading, selectively edited video clip. But unlike other lawmakers who took down their tweets and statements after fact checkers revealed the truth, Green is doubling down. The lion that looks to devour, and they are, that lion is looking to devour our children. The claim that Ukraine Zelensky wants to devour American kids took off when a few conservatives, including the previously disgraced Monica Crowley, circulated a 19-second video clip. Without any context, it certainly sounded ominous. The U.S. will have to send their sons and daughters exactly the same way as we are sending their sons and daughters to war, and they will have to fight because it's a nature that we're talking about, and they will be dying, God forbid, because it's a horrible thing. It's also horrible when conservatives, including Candace Owens, who said she wanted to punch Zelensky in the face, cannot be bothered to do a basic fact check. Here's one. The full clip shows that he wasn't talking about Americans fighting in Ukraine at all. Here is what really happened. Zelensky was asked about what he'd say to Americans who think the U.S. is providing too much support for Ukraine. He first thanked the American people, President Biden and Congress, for their support. He urged Americans to see Ukrainians as similar to themselves. He urged the U.S. not to give up its leadership position in the world. And then he said this. The U.S. is never going to give up on the NATO member states. If it happens so that Ukraine, uh, due to various opinions and weakening, depleting of assistance, uh, uh, loses, Russia is going to enter Baltic states, NATO member states, and then the U.S. will have to send their sons and daughters exactly the same way as we are sending their sons and daughters to war, and they will have to fight because it's a NATO that we're talking about, and they will be dying, God forbid, because it's a horrible thing. I wish peace and Ukrainian support to the United States. Zelensky was clearly not saying the United States should fight on Ukrainian soil. He was saying the United States would have to fight in other countries, NATO countries, the U.S. is formally committed to defend, if Russia invades those countries later. To be clear, we need a vigorous debate over U.S. policy towards Russia and towards the Russian war in Ukraine. And while I disagree with isolationists who say the U.S. should not spend a dime to help Ukraine defend itself, that view is worthy of discussion. However, any discussion is nearly impossible when conservatives trample on the truth, edit and take statements way out of context, and refuse to let anything get in the way of their preconceived views and notions. Kudos to Utah Republican Senator Mike Lee for at least deleting his statements about Zelensky. Shame on Marjorie Taylor Greene for doubling down. She has a cancer on American politics and debate. And when it comes to U.S. foreign policy, Green might as well be a minister of Russian propaganda. What an embarrassment. By the way, Marjorie Taylor Greene recently embarrassed members of her own party on the floor of the U.S. House. Green voted against mourning victims of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. She was one of only two lawmakers to vote that way. On this vote, the yeas are 414. The nays are two. You can check out the video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.